Hello, welcome to T-Sport Bear now. On previous videos we've shown you what we keep in the back of the trailer. This video we are going to show you what we keep under the living part. So above here is the shower and meeting table. But we do have a storage space so we'll go through all the boxes that we have here. The fast moving stuff we keep at the front so it's easy to get to but we'll lift them all out and we'll show you what we carry. So we got the boxes out the trailer all lined up. We just want to show you very quickly what we sort of keep in them. So brake cleaner WD-40, rags, blue paper roll. These are always at the back because we don't need them so often. Then we have spring hangers, damper mounts, some metal for fabrication. Then we have some cable ties, mirrors. These are quite prone to be knocked off. This is an actual PE part. We just keep it in the box because we can fit two in that box. Then we've got some silicon pipes, boost pipes, uh, oil granules or, or yeah oil granules I think it is uh, this is so we can mop up oil spills if we need to tire soap sponges brushes for general working then these are at the very front of the of the, the storage these are the sort of parts that we need instant access to so we've got steering pumps we do actually run a PE steering pump which I'm not going to lie, I thought it was going to not survive the sheer pressures and extremes of truck racing, but we've been running a PE pump on the race truck now for, I think, testing one race weekend and a few other tests uh, and no issues whatsoever. We also carry some rose joints for the sort of steering and rear torque bar. Then we have some wheel nuts. These are PE PE's own wheel nut. These are specially designed for truck racing and this is to stop. Uh, so in the past we run some standard ones and when they came together you can imagine two standard ones coming together at 100 mile an hour it would fire the trucks up at two meters up in the air no issues but now with these type of nuts the idea is that they actually deflect each other uh, which is safety reasons also what some of the more professional drivers would do with these type of wheel nuts is if they couldn't get past the truck they would actually come and they would actually eat the back tyre to slow them down and then damage the tyre and then they're instantly quicker uh, but we do carry the, the front wheel nuts just in case we have we still have a, a, a contact sometimes the, the, the face gets uh, too badly damaged to, to use and also if you're tightening and untightening them and there's a sharp edge it can cut your hand so we, we just keep on top of them then we have some front axle parts so we've got some front wheel spacers uh, damper top mounts for the front axle then we have some PE custom made parts for us which are wedges we do keep uh, various angles of the wedges uh, this we use for different setups so different weather conditions different tracks then this is the sort of box that we go to all of the time this we carry the really fast moving parts or if the parts we need in a hurry so we've got some duct tape for when things get too close we can actually tape it up and keep the truck looking mint at 100 mile an hour then we have a brake warning light which we have to run now for low pressure this is a PE part but I noticed it has a Air Max stamp on it um, so also a, a company from the BPW group so it's quite cool to see uh, them all working together then we carry uh, indicator stalk just in case one faults then we have we know that these are diesel filters but we actually use it to filtrate the water that we carry for the brakes and intercooler this we filter just to stop the valves from blocking up or the, the, the sort of jets from blocking up because of the fine or because they're a paper filter as well they're really fine so we can yeah and the cost is it's not a lot of money for these so we can keep swapping them because some circuits the water is quite hard with calcium in it so we can just swap it out and we have a gear gear knob gear lever just in case they're too aggressive they're not designed for an angry man shouting at another person on the circuit and pulling the gear dead hard so sometimes they uh, don't have the easiest of lives then we have some solenoids which or a solenoid valve these obviously 
PE part. These are designed for air, but we actually put water through them, which controls the the brake water into intercooler water, which we spray onto everything. These are not designed for water, so we expect them to fail all the time, but we haven't had one fail yet. Uh, and that's an honest uh, uh, statement. The, the, we do change them at the start of each year because the water sits in them for three months and yeah, if, if water sat in them that it's not designed to do, then we change it for, for the price of them. It's, it's an extra peace of mind. So from that side, it's really good. Then we carry some other sort of fast moving parts in these. And that's sort of generally what we carry at the side of the race truck when we're in the garage. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this was interesting enough. I hope I covered everything. I've definitely forgotten something, but yeah, it's too much to see. Thank you. See you soon.